Heartland Sports with Todd Richards. Sponsored by Southeast Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. Hi again, if you want a former Saluki basketball standout, we'll continue to play college hoops in the state of Illinois. Marcus Damask, who entered the transfer portal, will play for the Fighting Illini next season. Damask led the Salukis in scoring about 18, make that 17 points a contest, earning first team all Missouri Valley Conference honors. He's also the ninth all-time leading scorer in SIU history. Now he'll play in the Big Ten against another former Saluki star, talking about guard Lance Jones, who announced a couple of days ago he was going to play for Purdue. So here you go, a little Purdue and Illinois matchup. You'll get a chance to kind of see some former Salukis. Jones averaged nearly 14 points a game for SIU last year. He was the second leading scorer, also ranks fifth in program history and made three-pointers, and that should make some pretty interesting head-to-head -head matchups in the future. And while all eyes, of course, were on the Masters at Augusta yesterday, big high school golf tournament this afternoon in the Heartland, got some video sent to me from Poplar Bluff, served as the host of a 13-team invitational at the Westwood Hills Country Club. The host mules would win the event. Uh, they won the event with a score of 12 over a 296. Jackson, by the way, finished uh, second with a score of 304. That was followed by Farmington, Dexter, uh, then the Popper Bluff Maroon Squad, Notre Dame, Sykeston, and Cape Central would round out the top eight. And take a look at the uh, picture of the champion Popper Bluff Mules. Congratulations to them. And Coach Billy Pilon does a terrific job with that program. And also medalist honors would go to Popper Bluff's Lawson Barks. Another great day for this guy. He's won some big tournaments and continues to keep it rolling. Meanwhile, talking about a, a big game and a really exciting game in high school baseball this afternoon, Scott City hosting Oran at last check, 2-2 in the sixth. I'll have the highlights and reaction tonight on Heartland Sports.